Do Germans really have a sense of humor? This wild question and many more will be answered right after this intro. Hello everyone, welcome to the Bucket List Reviews. My name is Gibran and this is a review of a German comedy, Tony Erdmann, starring Peter Zimonischek and Sandra Hüller. Tony Erdmann is a story of a relationship between a father and a daughter. Winfred is a part-time music teacher who is now practically living alone and vows for his daughter's attention. Ines, his daughter, works as a corporate strategist in Bucharest and has no time for her father's shenanigans. After the death of his dog, Winfred pays a surprise visit to his daughter in Romania and from there on, their relationship evolves into perhaps something completely unexpected. So apparently, Tony Erdmann is being marketed to the foreign audience as a comedy, which I believe is not entirely true. The film is essentially a family drama and the comedic set pieces naturally flourish out of these moments. Now as someone who has been living in Germany for some time now, I can safely say that Germans have a very peculiar sense of humor. Either the humor is so obvious that you're always searching for a better punchline, or it's so dry that you're not really sure if it was ever meant to be funny. And not only that, the German sense of humor is very regional and self-referential. You'll only find the gags funny if you actually know the back history of that particular Bundesland in Germany. So first of all, Tony Erdmann was a film already released some months ago and was a huge hit at the last Cannes Film Festival. And the film is now on the shortlist nominations of the foreign film category for this year's Academy Awards. And since they were doing the second run in the theaters, I finally had the chance to see it. And Tony Erdmann is actually one of the best films to come out of Germany in the last five years in my opinion. The film's sense of humor is such a great balance between placing their actors in awkward situations, but never running away with the joke. Throughout the course of the film, you get to explore our main protagonist and your sympathies always constantly keep switching back and forth between the father and the daughter. Tony Erdmann has incredible character study where the quirks of each character is extremely well hinted at but never explicitly said out loud. Zimonishek brilliantly portrays Winford as a happy-go-lucky dad who is somewhat disappointed by how his life turned out but nonetheless always loves his family and tries to live his life without worrying about consequences. Meanwhile, his daughter is on a completely opposite spectrum. She takes her work very seriously and hardly indulges in her father's point of view. And of course, it's the odd couple chemistry that makes the film such an interesting viewing. Now with a premise like that, the film could have been easily an over-the-top comedy, full of wacky scenarios and tiresome humor. Now this film, it's actually very admirable that Marin Ade's script and direction is so impeccable at times. The father slash daughter relationship is so utterly realistic and believable that it almost feels like they've known each other for decades end. And of course, a lot of credit also goes to the brilliant performances of our two lead actors. Apart from its humor, Tony Erdmann is also a very subtle social commentary of the modern age capitalism. One of the key elements of Marxism focuses on the alienation of the worker. The term Gartungswesen, which means species essence, describes how a worker within a capitalist system can become alienated in a society of stratified social classes. The daughter seems to be clearly suffering from such alienation and somehow longs for her simple life back home. There's a scene in the film where Ines is making a big financial deal on the phone. And while talking, she stares out of the window and down below, witnesses small Roma ghettos, signifying the alienation of her from the rest of humanity down under. What I greatly appreciate about this film is that the ideas presented in the story are so well layered and never spelled out for you. The father longs for his daughter's love, but we can also somehow sympathize with her stance as his antics can sometimes become very tiresome. But with all its due credit, not all is perfect in the film. The cinematography I felt was so incredibly uninspired that it almost ruined the experience for me. The framing of each scene felt so mundane that it almost felt the actors were just accidentally part of the image. Patterson, a film that I reviewed recently, also focuses on mundane aspects of life, but is so beautifully shot and complements the storyline so well. And with almost three hours of runtime, Tony Edna felt unfocused at times, and some scenes did felt a bit repetitive. But the film at parts is incredibly memorable in his comedic set pieces. One of the most hilarious and memorable scenes from the film is Ines' silent mental breakdown, and just might be the worth the price of admission. So overall, the obvious asset of Tony Erdmann is its three-dimensional characters and brilliant chemistry between the two main leads. There are times that the film might seem to be stretching a little bit, but give it a chance, this film deserves it. And Tony Erdmann gets a four stars out of five. So, that was my review of Tony Erdmann. Do you think this film could win the Foreign Academy Award at the Oscars? Let me know in the comment section below. And of course, like, click on the subscribe button, and we'll see each other next time. So, auf Wiedersehen.